Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. As we wind down 1 Samuel chapter 28, I want to give you one last instruction. I want you to take note that someone, probably Samuel or Nathan or Gad, wrote this history down so that others would know that God provides a better king. They wanted others to know this. Now, I want you to think of at least two people, whether they be someone who doesn't know Jesus as Savior and King, or whether they've made a profession of faith of having Jesus as their Savior and King, but yet are struggling to see Him as such right now. Two people. And I want you to pray for them right now. Right now while I'm talking to you, you can call out their names to God and pray that God would open the eyes of their hearts. Pray that God may grant them strength through His Spirit so that Christ would dwell in their hearts richly. And one last thing that I want to challenge you with. Give them a call or send them a text that simply says, just wanted you to know I'm praying for you today. Is there anything specific I can pray for you? Now, as you're doing that, please remember to pray for Grady Johnson and his family, our missionaries in Mexico. And also remember the Kendandi Hamba Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Tanzania.